Welcome back gamers, Lazy Gamer here. And wow, it's almost Christmas. And in honor of that I will play a short game. Well fairly short anyway. Could it be considered a game? Yeah, maybe. I just know I love this game. Short and uh, well, I, I I don't know, but I have played it twice, and it's been LP'd. I'm sure because I watched one before buying this. But, well, this is me, this is my LP, and ignoring all this content ID bullshit that's going on on YouTube at the moment, I will continue Let's Playing anyway. I, I'm not hit at all. I'm not popular, popular enough, I guess. So, in six hours, I'll be 32, and I'm still playing games. But in the meantime, let's go home. Yeah, I'm sure. I know. Start the game already. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, anyway, so... Our protagonist is going home after a trip in Europe. Paris, I believe, and all that. So we arrived late. It's storming outside. Here's our baggage. What's our name? Oh. So that's us. No one picked us up. I wonder if they even got the message. But anyway, let's look around. It's stormy outside, yeah. Let's go inside. It's locked. And there's not. Kitty. I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, mom and dad, to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Now, who's Sam? Well, I know that it's my little sister, Samantha, but we're not supposed to know that yet. Sorry. But it's locked. We're gonna find... I think we need a key. We don't need that. Yeah, I also read that this was originally started as um, a 
It's an amnesia mod. So this is going to be scary, isn't it? In the meantime, let's try and find this key, which is under this Christmas duck. Go away. Okay. And let's leave it nice and clean, shall we? So now we have this key in our inventory. Some there is the spare key. This is my ticket, and this is me. Or well, in the game I am. Caitlin Green Briar. I think they say Greenberg for some reason, but that's not true, is it? It's dark in here, and don't... that's typical of that other game. <laughs> yeah, turn the lights on. Or keep lights to not get insane. It's not that bad here, though. Invoice. From Terence Greenbrier. Terry. Yeah. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Mom! Janice Greenbrier. She's a forest ranger or some such. It's a board game. Not important. The lights on. Yeah, my family just moved in here. But that invoice was, was from the moving guys, I guess. And, uh, so I've never seen this house before. I was in Euro Europe for a year, which is actually where I live, though no develop. I Norway, which is almost Europe. Anyway, more notes. Map to get here, I guess. Thunder is outside. Damn. Nothing here, and nothing here. Yeah, uh, certain certain items I look at will enter a sort of a, a diary sequence or something where where my sister is advancing the story, but there's that's mostly just what this game is to understand why where my parents are and why my sister isn't home and why this this place is in a bit of a more of a mess that than uh, it might be even if 
they just move it in. You might have noticed also somewhere. This is from the early 90s where things were not weren't not just there. Where some things were not quite so accepted as they might be today. Hey, I earned this. This thing, though, from Mexico. I wonder who bought that tacky thing. Anyway, yeah. Seems like I was competitive at some point, if I'm not still. Let's look around here some more before we search the house. Five, is it? I think this is fairly recent. And um, her dad used to be a sci fi writer. Uh, also, I love Stephen King, but that's for another. Ah, band aid. Hey. What? Yeah, this game is mostly just dressing for the story it portrays. Nothing important in here. Okay. I always keep the lights on in the bathroom. Yeah, so before we explore some more, let's. Yeah, uh, more rooms, I should say. Let's finish here for a moment. I feel like plan somewhere here. But was that when I left or when I returned? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's not that important anyway. Let's see. Note. Sam. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. You want to come see this new house? Call him back. Mom! Daniel is a total weirdo! The only reason I ever hang up, hung up with him is in the first place is that he had a Nintendo when we were little. Which is uh, enough of a reason to hang out with a guy, I guess. I'm still a Nintendo fan. Yeah. So. Uh. <coughs> Let's see if anyone recorded any, any recordings are of interest. Sam. Who's that? Sam. 
Hello? Yeah. Sam! Someone's calling for my sister. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the time it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't so, have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. No one really okay, knew so I came back. Love you. See you soon. Bye. That's fine, I guess. I got home fine anyway. Now, this girl, she sounded really desperate. I wonder. What did she want with my sister this late at night? If it, it was still probably late. Nothing there. Probably did that already. Hey, our family. Have fun. That would be. Mom, uh, Dad, <laughs> I mean, uh, Mom and me and sister, I guess. This Caitlin and Samantha. Anyway, that door was locked from the other side. That's a cupboard. That's Downstairs bathroom. This door should be open. For some reason, when I'm walking through here and it's dark and moody, it sort of takes me back to to uh, the GameCube version of uh, Resident Evil. Hope there are no zombies in this place. That will be silly. So we're here at the moment. More stuff. I sent this from Paris. Hey, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating whatever and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to de develop when I get back. So, uh, this was before digi digital cameras, obviously. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare. Beer book company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Kitty. Also, for some reason, she considered that new address weird, I guess. Well, if my family moved while I was vacationing, I would be. <laughs> Considering that a bit weird as well, I guess. But anyway, so lots of rooms. That is that. Well, let's look at that later. Let's be methodical. Oh. It's a closet. Really? Uh, welcome new students. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. 
please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Sturdy folders, pockets, yeah, yeah. Line notebook, six pens, box of colored pencils, combination lock for assigned locker, nutri nutritious lunch or money for lunch provided by school cafeteria. Is it this time that McDonald's is in, in this? That's nutritious anyway. And a positive attitude which shouldn't cost anything at all. Remember to get sleep tonight before. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. And um, yeah. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Yeah, we sort of inherited the, this house from our uh, or my dad's crazy uncle or something. We'll, we'll learn about this eventually. I just told you, but anyway. Uh, yeah, this was also when they still, maybe they do it today too, I don't know, but uh, passing notes in class and such. So, what does it say? Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm... Something. I'm at the back behind. It's a bit hard to read. If you want, pause the video and try to read the first part there. Um, I can't stand here all day. Oh, Tommy. It's Tommy. Yeah, fine. Hi Tommy, yeah I'm Samantha and yes I'm new, what's up? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, uh, our uncle was considered mad at the end, and he wonders if it runs in the family. How nice! That's what you want when you start a new school. Very nice guy. So, it's the living room. Remember VHS tapes, cassettes. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service. 
heavy man. Anyway. <laughs> Girl Scouts. And Wistaria County. Role model. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors. Anyway. To secure all windows and doors. Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Also, the X Files. If it's 95, wait, maybe it was still good then. I up, have up to season weather. four. The Northwest Weather Service reports high I feel it really went downhill after that. The following counties. That's Don my County. opinion. Obviously, I am Don County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria not County. disputing the anyone else's urged to stay indoors opinion. Secure all windows and doors. Blood conditions are expected oh, at lower stop. elevations. Batmobile. What's up with that? Pizza is nice. Someone made a. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high temperatures and sort of thing. affecting the following counties: Austin County, and also County, reading Dawn about County, haunting and poltergeists. And Wistaria County. Are someone Residents haunting are this place? To stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Hey, <laughs> maybe it's our uncle. Also, there's a serious, serious, serious storm going out there. Hope I don't blow away. So, Dad were writing a few novels, which was a bit before its time, and now he's down to writing um, stuff about uh, players. Well, work's work, I guess. The player is gone. Oh, 18, 19. Well, we might be able to get four episodes of X Files in one VHS tape, I guess. But still, that's pushing it. Sam thought this might help Dad. So the the Samantha have You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone it's like they have a big gold star around them and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this like army uniform. She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Yeah, so uh, Street Fight... <laughs> I can't speak. Street Fighter 2, anyone rem remember that game? It was one of my favorite uh, fighting games back in the day. Had it on the Super Nintendo. 
Never played it in the arcades though. Hey, what? A plus. Something at the edge of the world, Samantha Greenbrier grade. Two. Story the Turtle People, part one. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be it some time ago. Almost like my handwriting back then. Of course, mine haven't improved very much. <laughs> I I like writing on my keyboard. My handwriting is not so good. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Also, it seemed someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came along the, st along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge! That ain't no paradise and your father was a liar! You were a liar, well, whatever. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see your father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed on towards the sunset. Yeah, um... Samantha has written stories about Captain Allegra in uh, several phases of her life. She is a fairly good writer, like his dad, like her dad, I suppose. We'll find some of them eventually. Um, But the style and other things will change, as we will see. Just came from there, moron. Anyway. I was going to... Explore... The whole first floor in this video, but I think I have to postpone that because I really, really need to eat something. <laughs> I'm hungry, but I will upload this thing as a whole. There will mean be no gaps so if anyone is actually watching this they will get the whole story uh, in one go probably be three or four videos I assume uh, I might be wrong uh, but I'll end this video here. It is one hour from the twenty third, twenty first December, twenty 
2013 and then there are only four hours left until I turn 32 if anyone's still interested <laughs> and when that's done I might also be finished with this game yeah it's that short but enjoyable I, I really think so anyway this was your host the lazy gamer logging off bye guys <laughs>